Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And guys, I have been working on this particular mission for a while now. I did manage to catch the two ruby snappers. I've been struggling with getting these darn green jobfish. I have just can't seem to get one to, to bite. I get, I've caught just about everything else I could come up with. But I think I'm going to take a break from that for a little bit, guys, because... I will eventually get them, I just gotta spend more time off screen doing it. I thought I might do something a little bit different, a little bit more, at least entertaining, than <laughs> just sitting there waiting. And let's go out and head up to the tuna highway and see if we can't troll for some more tuna, but we're gonna do it a little bit different this time. Instead of using the trolling lures, we're gonna use what's called trolling live bait, which I have used a few times, but I don't think I've done it on screen, to be perfectly honest. So I think I might give it a shot to see how, you know, what exactly we can catch up here. Actually, when I did use it, I did use it down around the island, but not at Tuna Alley. So, or Tuna Highway, I can't come up with a straight name for it, apparently. But let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. But before we do that, we need to change our gear a little bit. Well, I've been doing some pilking, but this requires a different type of thing altogether. We've got, let's see, first of all, let's get this off of here. Now what we need to do is we need to put a live bait trolling hook on here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and select the 10 odd hook because we're dealing with some pretty big, pretty big fish here. And this only goes up to 7 ounce. So we don't. I don't think it's going to exceed that no matter what we do. Let's see. You want this head starter? Place that there. Probably might be a good idea. Since we don't have one to put a leader on there as well. See, this one goes up to 159. So we need a 154. I don't think I have a. I think they're all fluorocarbon. Yeah, let's go ahead and put a 154 on there. This one's dead. Might as well get rid of that. If you can save room in your gear, in your gear or your storage, it's best to do so because it fills up faster than you think, even with the big tackle box that you get with this particular set. Let me go ahead and see what we got here as far as baits. Now, it will highlight the kind of baits you can use. It struck me as odd that the Ericu Minnow I happen to have in here, you can actually troll with. I don't know if they'll, anything will bite off of it, but it will will work, apparently. But it looks like it's mostly fish type. We've got mullet, finger mullets, Japanese anchovies, jack mackerel, all of which the tuna are going to go for. Let's see, we got this one... Tarpon, flounder, permit, drum, common snook, tuna. Okay, so it really doesn't matter what we use. Let's try the scaled sardine. Nope, it says it's too heavy. Okay, so let's try something a little lighter. Still too heavy. Yeah. Then what we need to do is lessen our load on the sinker side. I was using the biggest one that they had. Let's go with a four and three quarter ounce. There we go. Now we're up to optimal. Now we've got other ones that we could use. The only problem with that is, is that 81.6 pounds is the biggest we got, and we are going to have to probably 
We'll try it. We'll try it. Not sure it's going to work. But I'm going to go ahead and drop some of this stuff off here. Actually, I'm going to probably get rid of that one. Can I do it on this one? No, I can't. I have to use... Yep, I have to use this rod. This one's getting pretty worn out as far as this goes. We can use the Tropicana. But if I do, I'm going to use the smallest hook we have. Because I'm just going to try to go for small tuna. I have to watch that lead. And there's actually baits here that the small tuna go for. The finger mullets it says right there, small Actually, small tuna is what it says. Japanese anchovy, small tuna. Let's try a Japanese anchovy. Then we'll put on a small... Alright, let's put on the sinkers. Let's see. Yeah, like I said, this is going to have to be kept light. That should... Nope, too heavy. I have a lighter one. There we go, optimal. All right, we're going to see how that does. Now, if it starts to put too much pressure on it, we will not use it. I wish I had another seaworthy rod, but I don't. Yeah, I wish I could use one of... I wish I could use that one, but it's not fairly compatible with this stuff, so... Can't do it trolling with it, unfortunately. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump in here. Club room. Alright, let's see. Right now we're over here at that little island. I was doing some fishing, bottom fishing. I did record it, but I just wasn't catching anything what I would call outstandingly fantastic to look at. <laughs> I mean, greater amberjack, narrow barred mackerel, giant trevally, dog tooth tuna. I mean, nothing that you haven't already seen. So. We're going to see if we can't catch something a little more exciting anyway. Let's get to the map. We'll fast travel because it's a distance. Way, way, way up here. Okay. Yeah, one of the reasons I had gone there is because I had noticed a lot of fish on the bottom and I thought they might be job fish as well, too. But we're already, I'm already seeing something. We're hearing something. I think the tuna are, tuna are active. So let's go ahead and get this set up. But you do this just like regular trolling, except instead of a lure, we're actually using live bait. And I really couldn't tell you whether it works better or worse, but it does seem to work. Let's see here. Throw that out about. Let's see how far we get that. That's pretty good, right there. All right. Alright, let's see where the birds are. There they are. Let's head for the birds. Cruise ship out there. Yeah, there's a lot of cruise ships on this side for some reason. Not sure what the deal is. Yeah, and it is 4th of July for me, guys. So there is fireworks going off in the background. So if you hear... Any banging around, that's probably what it is. The guy next door to me is just firing off some big, big fireworks. Yeah, I used to do that when my kids were young, but I kind of, you know, it's just me and my wife. Don't really mess around with that much anymore. I'm not seeing any tuna jumping, but their birds are there, and I'm seeing them on the sonar, so... We're about ready to go right in the midst of them. There's some things down there at the bottom there. 
Not sure what. Might take the speed down a little bit, may go to about three. I really don't know if there is an ideal speed. I've caught them at 1% all the way up to 8%, so it seems like 3, 4, and 5 are the best. I just kind of bump them around until something starts to bite. Alright, we are going right in the middle of them here. So if we get anything, it should be soon. Wait a minute, something. Okay, I got. I think I got jumpers. I thought I might have had a bite. Yep, we got jumpers over there. See them? I think they might be blue. Pacific blues. Not sure, but I think that's what we got. Let's speed it up a little bit while we make this turn. There's Sand Island. That actually is its name, too. I hear him, I just don't see him anymore. And it's going down. Up oh, there they are. Yeah, I like to go right through the middle of them if I can. Yeah, I would love to get me a unique. I think there's a unique Pacific blue. They come that big. Hold on, let me check. Ooh, fish escape because of low line tension. God bless it, of course. But let me see here. We have. Well, we've caught the unique of the albacore. We've caught. I've not caught a unique dog tooth tuna. We're gonna have to fix that. Job fish are hard to catch. Honestly, out of all the fish in this, I, they've been the most difficult to get. Mahi Mahi have got to get a unique that one. Yep. They do not come in unique, but we have not caught a trophy yet. The Ruby Snapper, I would probably say is the second hardest, but I think I finally figured them out. It took me a while. Skipjacks, still haven't got a unique of those. Or Yellowfin. So it's pretty much the tuna that we need to get here, guys. One thing that concerns me is since it escaped due to low line tension, did it get my bait? I mean, that's a possibility. Hold on, let's just... Let's slow this down for a second. I want to check to make sure we still have our bait. Uh, wait a minute. We might have... do have something on here. We actually caught something. And it is a striped bonito. That's not bad. Yeah, this guy was almost so light, didn't even know he was on there until the very last second. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of what we're going after here. Something around that size, perfectly fine. Kind of like to get a skipjack. Love to get a unique skipjack and finish that off. But let me check this just to make sure I have bait on it. Like I said, sometimes the bait gets taken when it loses low tension there. No, it didn't. 
I haven't done this enough to know that it will or won't, so... Wow, that cast's pretty good. She don't get that good of a cast. Alright, let's go ahead and start trolling again. Tank on it. There they are. I think those are skipjacks, guys. That's what I want to go for. Yeah, let's head over there, because I think we might... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. We might need to slow this thing down. Don't want to get too much tension lost. Whoa, this is a big fish. Holy crikeys. There we go. Yeah, he is... He's, he's big. This could be... Well, it could be a marlin. I mean, we got plenty of marlin out here. I know that. Marlin are always a fight. I don't care how big they are. They're always a fight. I'm not making much progress with him. Jeez. Yeah, this is a big fish. This is a big old fish. He is gonna keep me busy. Yeah, we're not actually moving. I did slow it down to zero, so... One of my viewers said, you're better off to do that, because if you just stop the boat, it causes the tension to go slack enough that they can get off the line, so we don't want to do that. Okay, we're making a little bit of progress until I said something. <laughs> he might take it back out again, I don't know. Yep. Man, gone. Yeah, even the young Pacific Blue Tuna, or the Blue Fin, are hard to bring in. They're, they're tough, they're heavy. Man. Yeah, we're going to be at this for a minute, guys. I'm not sure how long, but... It looks like I get some ground, and then he just runs out with it. Ah, I had him. I had him. Now he's getting his second wind. Look at him. He was almost there to where I could use the gaffer hook. Holy crap, this fish is really giving me a fight. He's back out to 60. There he goes. They will do that sometimes. Yeah, he was like... Almost to the point where I could have used the gaffing hook. And then he just bolted. Here we go again. We got him. We got him. And it is a striped marlin. I knew it was a big fight. I knew it was a big fight. Yeah, he's on the upward end of things, guys. Let's take a look at this fella. Not a bad fish. 
Not bad at all. 174 pounds, 88 inches, even. Caught him live bait trolling. Striped Marlin. Not the biggest one I've ever got, but it's the biggest one I've caught using that technique, so... Yeah. Wasn't sure if the Marlin went for this or not, but obviously they do. Alright, well... Let's get back up here. Uh... Looking around, I don't see anything jumping, but... They are all over this place, so let's just go ahead and... Take it back up to about 3 or 4 percent. See if anything goes for this. Like I said, I had anchovies on that one. Okay, there's a big one right there. See him? There's a little one with him. Okay, we got some jumping up there. Right in front of us. Perfect. Can't tell what kind they are, but... They're not yellowfin. I'm trying to think I might have something on that. I'm not sure. Hold on. No, I don't think I do. I think we've just got... Okay, yeah, I do have something on there. Let's see if we can't go slow this down a little bit. Another big fish. Just running off with it. I don't think this is a marlin, and we might have something on the other one too, I'm not sure. It's not really... It's looked like Skipjack to me, I'm not sure. You know, the yellow fin are really easy because of their fins. The toe. We got here. Big eye tuna. Maybe that's what's jumping, I'm not sure. It's a decent sized one. 130 pounds. Tuna tyrant. Catch a certain number of tuna. That's not bad. Got us a bait coin out of the deal. Let's throw this back out there and see if we can't get a few more of them, but I think they're all big eyes, honestly. We have caught a unique big eye. Can't really tell. It could... Yeah, I think that might be big eye. We're going to head on over this way. We're heading... Actually, we're getting kind of close to... Sand Island here. Hey, let me pick up the right one and see. Something... Yep, we got something. I'll be darned. We did have something. I didn't even... It's not big. It could be another striped bonito or something. Trophy Stripe Bonito, not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll take him.
like I said, it's sometimes it's hard to tell if you got one. Oh, shoot, that didn't work. We'll just let it out this way. <laughs> Whatever works. Alright, let's get back up here because I think we're getting out of our... Gone a little farther than we intended to. Let's turn this... Yeah, there's the next marker. There are the birds. Do not see anything jumping, so... Ah, we got something. Alright, we got us a fish. And it's taking it out. And we got one on the other one, too. Lord. Rains and pours. Yeah, whatever's on the other one, though, is not very big, so... Probably another Benito. They seem to really take well to the... live bait trolling, apparently. Might not be as big as I thought. We'll see here. Of course, Marlin can fool you. They can you, make you think you got them in, and then all of a sudden they just start bolting, and it's like... crazy. God, whatever it is. Yellowfin! Nice! Not expecting him. Let's take a look at this fella. There we go. These are a gorgeous fish. I love the way they look. That's a beauty. 132 pounds. Keep him. Yeah, I think we probably lost that one. I think I might try a different bait since Benito seem to be going for that more than anything else. Let's see. Now let me take a look here. I think I saw something else that went for small tuna. The finger mullets might be a good choice. Yeah, let's go with that, because I really don't want to hook in anything too big. Not with this rod. We might still get the striped bonito. It's hard to say. Like I said, though, I would like to get a skipjack tuna. This could still pull in a unique one, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I might change this up too. Wait, whoa, are you kidding me? Oh, well, maybe. Oh, I had a bite there for a minute. That has happened. Let's see here. Yeah, instead of scaled sardines, let's try the Japanese ma jack mackerel this time. things bobbing up and down so much. There we go. Still got him in front of us. Don't see me jumping anymore. Keep it around 4%. Trying to see what we got going on here. What kind of tuna are these? Those could be skipjacks.
They're not yellow fin. They could be big as also. No, they don't look big enough. We're going right through the middle of them, so we'll see what happens here. Ah, there we go. Ah, we lost that one, but we got something on the other one. Okay. fish might be too big. Well, we know how to handle that. Just keep going, because he will get off of there. What we can do is we can reverse it. Low line tension sets up, he'll get off. We don't want to push that rod too much. And whatever those were, they were too big. Yep, he's off. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that rod. This may just be too big. Oh, nope, I bet. They may just be too big for this rod. I'm sure, I had the other one. I think we've got one. Hold on. Maybe not. It dipped, but it didn't stay that way. We are getting out of the tuna range. He got him a nice trophy marlin. I'm sure that was a fight. Nothing small about those guys. Yeah, apparently the finger mullets are going to get the bigger fish. Down to 4%. Seeing any more tuna, though. Yeah, he's... See, I'm currently doing the mission where you have to fill up your boat storage in a given time. It's the final maintenance mission. Yep. This is this place. He got him a trophy skipjack. Look at them all. What are these guys? Let's see. They look like bluefin. Yeah, I think they're bluefin guys.
Ah, shoot. I didn't mean to stop it like that, but hopefully I didn't lose him. I got something. Let's see what it is. They're all over the place here. He said he used a seven... The green squid chain. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Whatever this is, it's not monster. Well, compared to what I've caught in the past, it is, but this place is not. Oh, he may be. He's on a good fight. Almost got him in, whatever he is. Let's see what he is, guys. It is another big guy. Got a lot of those. They're pretty easy to catch, to be honest. Let's try one more pass. didn't mean to stop the entire engine that time. I meant to slow it down, but apparently it hit the wrong button. Oh, he got, got his mission done. to see him do it. This is the place if you want to complete that mission you need to be because you will get the fish. Okay, we got something. Uh, it's not even in a fish area. Hold on, let's Slow this down here. Let's see what we got here. This may have to be our last fish. I think I'm gonna switch this over to trolling octopus after this, because even though I'm catching the fish, I'm not getting anything monstrous this style. Marlin was the biggest one I caught. This one is giving me a bit of a fight, though. The yellowfin was a nice surprise. He's not going to come easily, is he? Let's see if we can coax him in here. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. It's worth a try every now and then. Gives them enough slack that they, you can kind of fool them to coming in. Of course, it's also risky because you can lose them that way too. Another big eye. Yeah, it looks like it's been the big eye and the. Well, the marlin, the big guy, and yellowfin so far. No skipjack. Damn. I was really hoping for one of those. Yep. Not a bad way to fish. 
It's not my preferred method, but it's definitely a nice to mix it up a little bit. Anyway, guys, I've been talking to CJ99 there. He's done really well. He did manage to complete his maintenance mission, as I said earlier, and he went to get himself a trophy grouper and caught one, like within minutes. <laughs> so, got it off the gutted, gutted fish. Yeah, I caught mine off of the spiny lobster, so... Either one of those two baits are really good for those guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. My big goal, aside from getting that one darn maintenance mission completed, I want to get me a trophy Pacific Bluefin. I want to see if that's the biggest fish in the game or if it's still the Marlin. Well, obviously the Grouper Zilla was the biggest so far, but... I'm talking real fish, but anyway, as I always say guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.